Hello everyone, welcome to my first weekly vlog of the new weekly vlog series. So it is currently Monday today, so I'm starting off on a Monday, which feels quite nice. Um, I've actually had quite a busy morning. I got up early, probably about 7 a.m. to edit my YouTube video, which is gonna be um, my vlog from Sydney. So that will be up by the time you've watched this. And then I had some breakfast. Bernie, my dog, went off to daycare. I actually went and got my nails done. I just got something pretty natural. I actually just got like a biab, but then I got the Hailey Bieber Glazed Donut um, Duochrome thing over it, which I thought was really nice. Thought I'd just come on and say hello. The house is a tip, so I apologize for the mess, but we got back from Australia, so there are suitcases everywhere. Welcome to the weekly vlog. I'm super excited to take you on my weeks going forward. <laughs> Let me close the telly. If you can hear and you watch YouTube, you will know that I am watching Estée Lalonde. Whilst editing from the sofa today, I don't know what it is. I think it's probably the cold weather um, and the fact that this is sort of my first day back to work in the house, but I've just been here, there and everywhere today. So today is a sofa day. It is a soft office day. If you followed me for ages, you will know that I call my, the sofa my soft office. <laughs> Currently just editing some reels um, on Canva, actually. I'm trying to do something a little bit different. No, I'm editing a story, sorry. I'm trying to do something a little bit different. I'm trying to, there's this like product render um, video and I want to pause it at certain times, so, like freeze the frame have text going over and then the rest of the video plays. So I'm just trying to do that. If it's successful, then I will show you in a minute. A very cozy day and yeah, nothing too strenuous, more so just planning out the week um, and getting some admin bits done and just some loose ends that I need to um, sort out for the rest of the week. It is actually the um, workshop tomorrow, which I am excited about, but also a little bit nervous. I've film the workshops that's fine I am literally just doing a Q&A but I don't know when things are live I just get a little bit nervous so um we'll see how that goes I feel like I will get into the swing of this vlog once that's over because at the moment it is all that I'm thinking about I'm gonna show you this video because I did it I don't really know how I did it but I'm pretty proud of it so here is the story that I was just creating So I have pretty much finished everything for today. I have just scheduled a post to go live for this evening um, to do with the workshop that is going live tomorrow so that people can grab last minute tickets if they want to. I had a look on the um, page today because there's like a um, hub place where people basically will go on and watch the workshop. You can see who's RSVP. And mine is the second highest workshop for RSVPs. Um, I've got 66 people watching my workshop, which is just wild to me, like so, so crazy. And now I'm getting a bit of imposter syndrome, like is any of it actually like new information, but it's obviously not new information to me, but hopefully it will be new information to some people that watch it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm also looking forward to the Q and A because I think I can answer then any questions that people may have from that or expand a little bit more because I only had half an hour to chat through. And when actually you've got a bunch of slides, it is so easy to chat through half an hour. Hopefully that all goes well tomorrow. Obviously by the time you've watched this, it'll be a distant memory, but um, yeah, I'm nervous and excited for that. Um, I've done some emails, I've scheduled some content, I've made some edits, I've edited my YouTube video and uploaded that. Um, I've created content for later. And yeah, I'm just gonna do a couple more emails now and then I'm gonna wrap up the day. It is currently four o'clock. Um, Dom is on his way home. Bernie will, will be home within the hour um, from daycare. So yeah, I'm just gonna look at tidying the house a bit because the mess is stressing me out and I'm such a clean, like, 
person in the sense that a tidy space is a tidy mind so I really need to sort that out before tomorrow else I will just be stressing so I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna have some dinner because I'm super hungry so I'm gonna have some dinner early I think Dom will probably want that too and then I'm gonna try and head to the gym later <laughs> just come up here to put something on my face just something very minimal because I'm actually I've got a discovery call at 10 30 so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go to the gym at like midday around lunchtime um so I'm gonna be having a shower and stuff after that and then I need to do my hair and get ready again for this evening because I've got my Q&A live if you don't know about this cream get to know mine is like out i've got another one downstairs but it's the willada skin food this is a, it's a savior all year round but i will never use another face cream again it is amazing yeah this is literally just what i do for a discovery call. I don't like to go on discovery calls with no makeup. I just don't feel very confident. I'm gonna sort my hair. I'm just gonna put my hair up and have a couple of bits hanging down. Get myself into a t-shirt and some sort of like blazer or something. Um, just because when you put on a jumper, I feel like it looks like you're literally just wearing like a sweatshirt and you're not really put together. So I'm gonna wear a um, blazer of some sort. Sarah is not playing ball today but it's literally up in a ponytail because I'm going to be going to the gym but excuse my dirty mirror as well, <laughs> gross, but I'm ready. Um, I've just got a new navy Zara blazer on, a Uniqlo top and down the bottom obviously I'm wearing some navy joggers and some slipper socks because comfort is key right? So yeah this is what i'm wearing for my discovery call and then i've got my gym stuff on the bed ready to switch into go to the gym have a shower and then i can actually like get ready um and feel a little bit nicer i feel okay like i feel put together in this but like i know that my hair needs washing um i do just want to get to the gym and do a workout here is my office assistant bernie are you gonna say hello to everybody <laughs> what do you think your daycare person says so you're getting a bit excited this is Bernie, he's a Bosnian rescue dog and he's a chow cross aren't you? You're the fluffiest boy! I'm actually just about to record a story for my stories, I haven't spoken on my stories in ages. I always find this process so weird and it honestly takes me a few attempts because <laughs> uh, I feel like I just babble for the first one and then I'm like right what do I actually need to say, let's like make this concise. Um, so we'll see how this goes. No, <laughs> no, no, I don't need to deal with that. No. Hello everyone, happy Tuesday, I think it is. I don't think I've actually come on here since um, it's been 2023, which is crazy. Uh, but I just wanted to come on and say thank you for all the love on my new YouTube video. <laughs> I thought I'd just give you a little bit of a catch up. I've just had my discovery call, which you probably would have seen. I think I was actually filming for quite a while um, because I forgot about it, just chatting. Um, but it was with a crypto brand actually, which is something that I have no clue on. And I was very open about that. I honestly have no clue about that industry, but the brand is super, super cool. And you might have seen, um, if you follow High Moon Studio, you would have seen them over there. They are called Zero XX Crypto. Um, they have the coolest branding. High Moon absolutely smashed the branding. It looks unreal. And I always remember um, seeing their branding on High Moon and I um, commented on it and like really, really loved it. So, yeah, super cool. So when they reached out um, 
I was really excited because I have come across them before and essentially they are a crypto brand for people who have no idea about crypto and want to get into it which I thought was really interesting she was super lovely um and yeah we just spoke about my two different services so social media management and monthly grid creation and I'm going to send her over a proposal for that um so I will keep you updated on that see if that um comes to fruition and we end up working together I love the concept of it and ever since working with the stack world um I love sort of that um, like female empowerment sort of like um, getting into different areas that women aren't traditionally in like money and stuff and stuff you just don't see a lot or you don't see a lot of businesses and women talk about it and I just love the fact that she set up this whole crypto thing and it just looks amazing so that went really well I was very happy with that and it was actually a discovery call where she didn't turn on her camera which I appreciate as well um even though I did get somewhat ready it's nice to be prepped but when people don't fancy you know coming on camera in the morning that's always nice so yeah I'm now going to just do a couple of bits I want to reply to emails reply to DMs just do the little task that literally will take me five minutes then I'm going to go in and get changed and I'm going to head to the gym go to the gym have my lunch and then come back for a big afternoon of work on IRA content um, to get that ready for our meeting tomorrow at 10. I actually look wild <laughs> right now but I have just scraped my hair back with a hair mask um I always put a hair mask in when I go to the gym because my hair needs washing after anyway um and I it keeps like the flyaways out of my face but it's just a nice time to let the mask sit so yeah that's a hack I do that for the gym and also if I'm ever having like a sleep back bun I always do it but yeah I've got a Davines um renaissance mask in my hair and yes I'm changed and I'm gonna go to the gym these I actually got in Australia they are by Vasia they're literally just like they're running trainers didn't even know they did running trainers but I just bought them for all like the walks and hikes and coastal walks we did in Australia so um, I thought I'd just wear these to the gym to be honest I literally just wear shoes down to the gym sometimes I just wear my slippers or like my crocs or something I actually take off my shoes and go barefoot when I'm in the gym because especially for days like today I'm doing squats I do strength training that's what I do in the gym and so I'm doing a lot of like squats and deadlifts and I don't like having trainers on because the, although these are pretty flat, which is good, but most trainers have like an arch support and um, your feet should be flat when you squat. So um, yeah, I don't like wearing trainers. I prefer just to wear barefoot or go barefoot. So I'm gonna head down to the gym now. I will probably take you with me. Yeah, maybe I'll record some of my workout. I don't really know. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym, come back, have some food. Really want to tidy this house, but like I have so much work to do that I genuinely don't know when I'm gonna find the times. I should probably preface this by saying I have a gym, um, a row and stuff in my garage. In like half of the garage, we've got a gym. This mirror is so dusty, so you probably can't see me and it's all steamed up because it's hot in here, but workout done. Um, I feel so much better for that. I know I feel so good and it also makes me sleep better, which makes me feel more energetic during the day. So yes, if anyone wants to know, I'm doing the Shreddy 20 me challenge or whatever it's called. I'm doing the strong challenge. Um, so yeah, I have just had a shower and done my hair, which is probably why it's a little bit crazy at the moment. I just got a really exciting parcel. This is full of samples, basically, of um, t-shirts and things that I want to work on this year. You will probably have seen in my um, rebrand video that I got some samples and stuff created and mocked up and I've tried some other samples since. Um, I found a really good quality t-shirt but it was just so expensive like it's just too expensive I've been trying to find some more samples so I've got some more here and I'm hoping they are nice which they are and I have some other samples in here oh my god these are so good which I don't want to show you because it's something that I'm going to be launching Oh my God, these are perfect. 
<laughs> okay, I can't show you those. Anyway, you know that I'm working on t-shirts and stuff. So here are a couple of samples of t-shirts. Oh, these are so nice. Okay, so the first one is a natural um, color material. It's got like specks in it. Um, so I just wanted to test a couple of size, sizes. So this is the medium. And I think I got the gray in a large just to test because the other ones that I had were super big. Like I got a small, I think, or a medium and they were massive. Um, so I just wanted to test these and also test the necklines and stuff and see how they sit because obviously the majority of my followers are female. So it needs to look good on females. At first glance, I really love the natural color. This is what I wanted to go for anyway, but I just wanted to test the gray because it is quite hard to find a good gray mall. And this is nice, probably not as nice as my other one, but um, this is a really good um, t-shirt. So I'm very happy with those. Also the heaviness, because that is what I wanted. I want to find like heavy, good quality, um, high GSM t-shirts. Um, but obviously the heavier you go, the more expensive they are. So I found a sort of middle ground with these um, as opposed to the ones that I'd really like to use and maybe I can use those down the line for another project. But I've got a couple more samples of other things um, that I'm not gonna share. From first glance, they look so good. I am getting it ready to um, basically jump on live. I've got an hour until I go live, um, half an hour until my workshop presentation starts. It's already pre-recorded. So um, I'm actually just gonna join the live stream that's before mine, the Q&A, just to get an idea as to what is going on and um, yeah, how it's sort of running, just so that, yeah, I don't dive in head first with no idea. I'm a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I've never, ever, ever done anything live like this before. Um, that's the part that I'm nervous about, but all I've got to think that it's not actually like, it's it's within a circle. Over 100 people are watching my workshop, which is madness. Um, and about 30 people I think are coming to the Q&A. So we'll see. I just hope that people ask some questions. Uh, there's nothing worse than being on a Q&A and there's no questions. Here it is, I'm getting ready. It starts in it's not 16 minutes now, are you ready? I'm gonna refresh it. I'm actually here, waiting. Hello. Um, 11 minutes. Wow. Let's see if anyone, there's 111 people in there, so there should be some questions, I'm guessing. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is um, Wednesday today. I've actually just come off a um, client weekly meeting, um, like a social review basically just of content so that we can go through all the content and I can make any edits. This morning is the morning after my live and my workshop with Quill & Co for their Step Into Clarity Designer Summit. In reality is here, um, I actually posted it on my Instagram this morning, but. I cannot tell you how nervous I was for that yesterday. You might have seen it in the clips, but I was super nervous and I constantly had it in the back of my mind all day and I couldn't actually fully concentrate on client work because I was just so nervous. Um, but it went super well, like super, super well. Um, there was only one question that like really threw me, which wasn't anything to do with social media, which is obviously what I was prepping for. It literally was like, what are your struggles in business? And I felt like saying, everything i cry weekly please go and look at my youtube <laughs> or come and join my close friends because you will see what i struggle with um but like off the top of my head i just couldn't think of one thing i was like there are literally so many aspects but um i ended up speaking about um like finding clients at the beginning um and un and finding the right clients for you yes but that was the only question that threw me everything else was absolutely amazing and i had so many lovely messages from people after i feel like when you do these things you really appreciate um those people who actually genuinely support you and not those people who are just keeping an eye on everything that you're doing um and I see you. I see these people sign up to staff and I know that they're attending, but they never, you know, message me anything. They're just there and when they need something, they'll message me, which is, yeah, funny. But the people that actually genuinely support me and are happy for me message me and I just, it honestly, it was just so overwhelming. I was so nervous and I said that to people and they literally said, you would never have known that you were nervous. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm so like happy about how it went and all the comments that I got after on my posts, like saying 
how valuable it was because honestly when I was creating it I was like this is amazing and then I sat on it for like I've had it done for like a couple of weeks and I sat on it for ages and I was like this isn't valuable at all no one's gonna learn anything any everyone's gonna know all of this anyway and they're gonna be like well duh but no i think that's obviously just me thinking like i do this day in day out i know this stuff but people who are wanting to join this workshop don't they didn't they thought it was valuable um and they were really excited to go away and create content which is exactly what i wanted people to feel like they had you know some sort of purpose and inspiration into what they can do for their marketing this year so yeah i'm so so happy with how it went and i'm so happy that i stepped outside my comfort zone because i always said that i wanted to do some sort of workshop when I saw that you could pre-record it, I was like, this is my chance because, you know, I can give myself as many goes as I need to pre-record it. And it was just the live that I was super nervous about, but it was only 30 minutes and it went super well. And obviously Marissa was lovely and um, she was sort of reading out the questions and I was answering. Yeah, I just wanted to come on here and say, you know, the realities of that, that I was actually super nervous. Um, so today I'm taking it a little bit easy because I was honestly so exhausted after that, like building myself up all day and doing it, I just crashed. So today I've obviously had that first client call. I got up early this morning and did the work that I needed to do for them. So the rest of my day, I'm actually spending um, creating a strategy for a new brand that I'm working with on social media management called Pearls and Pomegranates. They are a um, sustainable jewelry, I'll say they're a jewelry brand. They don't actually create the jewelry themselves. They have a really cool subscription for small independent jewelers and designers to share their work. And it's almost like a platform, which I absolutely love. It's such a cool concept, such a good idea. So yes, I'm working on a strategy um, for Natalia today, which is super exciting. And I'm gonna send that over tomorrow, but today will just be a little bit more chilled and just me focusing on my work at my desk. And I don't have any distractions of anything scary to do later don't have any other calls I can just focus so I'd show you um this quickly because this is actually my strategy template on Adobe XD these are just a couple that I've done before one for Tony Zamora one for Osea I absolutely love this template um just because it's so colorful um it really makes me happy so I'm just going to go in now and replicate all of these um and choose what sections need to be included and add anything that needs to be changed for pearl and pomegranates um i mean like section wise obviously the whole strategy needs to be changed but um i just like to map out first so i like to replicate my whole strategy document with all the templates and then i have written a bunch of notes on pearls and pomegranates so i'm going to go in and decide which sections need to be kept which needs to be added um and then after that i will go through and edit everything and add in all their details and all of their different strategies and imagery and things like that. For the vlog, it probably doesn't look like I've even moved, but it is actually, it's 2.25 in the afternoon and I am working on the strategy that I was speaking about before. Um, I've actually looked at a couple more like blanks and samples to buy because I just want to test out a bunch of different ones before I decide on a t-shirt and the other designs as well. I think I'm actually going to, well, I know I'm going to be walking the dog at about three, so in half an hour, um, I'm just gonna walk him around the block just to get out as well. It'd be nice to just have a walk and get some fresh air today. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and work on the strategy, um, but I'm actually gonna head downstairs now. I'm gonna go to my soft office, I'm gonna go to the sofa, and I'm just gonna chill and do a bunch of the strategy work there, because a lot of it is just typing everything out into the plan. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna work from the sofa um, this afternoon and as you can probably tell, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, yeah, yesterday was just exhausting. So I'm gonna work from the sofa and then I'm gonna enjoy an evening of doing nothing. <laughs> Good morning. You can probably tell from my eyes that it is morning. Oh, it's quarter past eight, so it's actually quite late for me to be getting up. Um, but yesterday was just a very exhausting day. I had netball in the evening as well. I had training 
for an hour and a half. Yeah, I came back and when I have netball so late, I'm always like really wired until late at night. So I just watched Love Island and didn't go to bed till like half 10. It's not been like me for quite a while now. Yeah, I'm tired this morning. So I'm just going to grab some water, a coffee and have some breakfast. And then I'm gonna take Bernie um, out just around the roads. The weather's really gross today. Tom actually got up and left really early today because he went off somewhere to go training, which is like an hour and a half away. So yes, it's just me and Bernie in the house today. In terms of work, I've got a proposal to send off this morning. I've got some edits to do for content, client uh, content scheduling. Um, and that's about it. And then I'm just gonna plan my week for next week. Um, I've got quite a quiet day today, which is nice um, because day was yesterday was a little bit full on finishing the strategy. I've got some parcels arriving. I've got a lovely new coach that I ordered from ASOS that I didn't tell Dom about, but that's okay. I keep seeing it on my Instagram and it's one that people bought a few years ago and it's they're wearing it again now. And I just think if they're wearing it again now, it's gonna be a quite a timeless coat. So I just envision myself on these cool dog walks in Harrogate going for brunch, which is exactly what I'm doing on the weekend. So I was like, yeah, I need the coats. I also need to go food shopping today at some point um, because we literally have no food in the house. So I think what I'll do is I'll get my proposal sent off and that's stuff that I need to send and want to send, reply to my inquiries. And then I will probably go food shopping like mid morning. It's the 27th today as well. I think I've actually got a delivery of dog food coming. So I need to make sure I'm in for that as well. Although they are pretty good and usually just leave it by the garage. The goat of all oat milks. I don't care what anyone says. It's probably, well, actually I don't think the, it's not too bad. It's not the best of the oat milks, but it's the barista version and I only have this in coffee. Um, it just tastes unreal. I will have other oat milks in other things, but this for coffee all day, every day. My food delivery is here. Not my food delivery, <laughs> my dogs. This is my finished breakfast. So I've got chocolate protein porridge underneath there with blueberries, strawberries, and some frozen strawberries as well. Oh, hello. Oh, and this is where I reside all day, guys. Oh, tired boy. A podcast where we've gone through the paces. <laughs> Bernie and I have come to tell you that we're off on a walk um, yeah we're just gonna go for a walk around the roads I'm gonna come back start on some work I've got a delivery that's coming here um, around midday once I've done that I'm gonna go for a food shop um, but yeah let's go get some fresh air <laughs> Parcel arrived with my coat in. The coat is actually from Topshop, like a shearling jacket kind of thing. I bought a size 10, which is a size up for me anyway, but I didn't know if I should have gone a bit bigger. Um, it did say that it was quite oversized, but yeah, this is the jacket. You might all know which one it is. Um, Virgin Styling on Instagram, she wore it. Melissa F1, she wore it. And another girl, looked really cool, so. I'm gonna go try it on. Yeah, I think it's super cool. I like it. It looks super oversized, so yeah. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna style it and see what I think, but yeah. <laughs> I'm having a bit of a moment, to be honest. I've spent nearly over an hour on one proposal, which had literally taken me like 10 minutes because Dubsado has just been glitching every single time I go in and edit a proposal, it glitches in some way. And it's just taking me way more time than what it would if I was just to use my PDF template. So that's what I've had to do for now anyway. Um, and I'll have to, yeah, see if I can book in a call with you at some point because it's just really pissing me off and what should have taken me 10 minutes is now taking me like literally an hour and a half. 
oh it's so annoying and it puts you back so much in the day so anyway I'm going to send this off and then I think I'm going to go and do a food shop um and forget about work for a minute and then come back and do all the edits and everything that I need to do just eating a bacon and egg sandwich for lunch because it was quick and this is what I'm dealing with hello can you smell my bacon Whereas you could order it for some reason, I always thought it well, was. Me too. Black Friday and like any kind of yearly sales have lunches around them. I just show you the email that I created for the marketing strategies in 2023 workshop replay. I'm going to have it live over the weekend um, so that people can watch it up until the 31st of January, which I think is the end of day Tuesday. So. Yeah, I'm going to have it on for a few days, but I just, I love this header. I created this header with inspiration from Kelsey's guide that she sent me and I just love it. So I just created this email with a button to watch it here. I also created a Notion workbook. So I included a little gif here of what the workbook looks like so people can click through. And then right at the bottom, I've just put a little plug to my YouTube and my latest video. Just wanted to come on here and sign off the video. Thank you so, so, so much for um, tuning in to this first weekly vlog um, of many, I hope, because I love recording like daily vlogs and weekly vlogs. I think I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna do some daily vlogs, some weekly vlogs, depending on what's going on. When things are sort of like just in the office, day to day, not so interesting, I'll do weekly vlogs because you'll get a good array of what my weeks look like, but there will be certain days where it's a little bit more exciting. I actually have planned, hopefully, we need to actually sort it out. I'm just waiting on a couple of packages from clients. I'm gonna be doing a shoot day with Claudia from um, Now Social Studio and Flossie um, from Flossie Taylor Social. Um, we are going to be hiring like a venue basically, um, like a studio and we're going to be use, utilizing it for client content we can obviously create our own content and i think just help each other out and we'll have a nice day and like grab lunch and stuff as well so that will be really nice um i'm looking forward to stuff like that so on days like that i will obviously record um a day in the life so that you can come along with me but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope it's been somewhat interesting um, and I will see you in a week's time for another video. Hope everyone has a lovely weekend. I can't wait to go to brunch, walk the dog and do nothing.